Hi guys and girls and welcome to week 7 7 of the GBA. Yes, we are finally back. The we just hate the holiday break and yeah, we all are pumped to finally be returning to the general GBA stuff and shenanigans and here you go right with my team builder for my week 7 match versus Crimson Seabed and the Detroit Steel Wings. So, looking at uh, the Detroit series in general, they are not doing very good so far, they are 0-6, they were not able to win one battle so far, that that means by no means that we should underestimate them, we just came out from the break, and yeah, like, if we are in a time of um, turning tables, it's after this break, so I'm not the guy to underestimate any opponent, even though their record is pretty mediocre at the moment, but, like I said, we are just coming out from the break, he had potentially three weeks to plan for my team, so I am expecting some scary stuff from him, and... I usually don't say it to my, this is my opponent, but this time I actually feel like I have, don't have a good match up. But yeah, I mean you can decide that yourself once I get all this team, which I will do right now. First of all, he got Ladios, Infernape, Suicune, The Raptor, Crocodile, Roserade, Tradilli, Electros, Dustclops, Glaceon, and Mega Charizard X. And if you look at this team, the scariest parts on this team are the Staraptor and the Mega Charizard X. They have the potential to just run through my team. I mean, Mega Charizard has that basically always because, yeah, it's just Mega Charizard X, and if it sets up, it's, it's scary as fuck. But the Staraptor, I don't have Regic anymore. The best flying resist I have is the Staraptor with, uh, not Staraptor, by Luxury, of course. But a Double Edge will just trade up decimate this thing. If he's banded or just scarfed reckless, this thing has the potential to run through my team. Uh, thank God he's it's weak to rocks, and uh, with all the recoil, he will probably be able to to kill one of my pokes, maybe two, if, if I'm not careful. But still, they have the potential to just straight run through my teams. Same goes for Ladios. I don't have a Draco switch in. Like, of course, I have Zoomer as immunity. I have Cobalion as resist. But Cobalion's physically is it's only physically defensive is good. The special defense is pretty lacking, and so it doesn't take Dracos too well. Zoomer is of course immune to the Draco, but Psyshock is a two-hit KO even to an assault this one. So. It's, it's scary, Ladios. If it gets in and it's offensive, it will probably maybe get a kill. I have things to revenge kill it, like my absolute speed. It's called Beta Speed, of course, but it's scary. If this thing gets uh, is able to drop a Draco, I basically don't really have a switch in. I need to be I need to see what I can do. And as last, you got <coughs> you got Infernape. Infernape can do so many things. Like Infernape is so it can go special, it can go physical. It got such a nice move for it. Can stall breaker, Widow Wisp, Slack off. Stealth Rock, Taunt, Mark Punch, Vacuum, vacuum Wave, um, yeah, Fake Out, it has all the priority on the special and physical side and I don't really know what it wants to do, but yeah, these are like the biggest threats I see on this team, of course you got bulky stuff too, like the Dilly, the uh, Suicune, the Dust Gloves, the Glaceon, the Electros, but yeah, this is the team, these are the four big threats I see on this team, mainly Staraptor and Manchester X and then Ladios and Infernape, Infernape, Depending on the set, I can pretty much handle it, but just the unpredictability of, of Infernape is, is the scary thing in itself. But okay, looking at my team, I'm bringing versus Crimson here. First up, we got Physical Defenses, Sucket Buff, the Slow King with the Vakant Berry, Scald, Power Gem, Flyshock, and Thunder Wave, of course, with the Generator. This thing is mainly here to be my check to the, um, to the Charizard X and to the Infernape if it's a physical set. Because with this investment, I can take the hits pretty well. The Vakan Berry is there to uh, is the Berry which uh, makes uh, electric moves uh, only hit uh, half as hard. Because I'm expecting him to bring Mega Charizard X with Thunder Punch or Infernape with Thunder Punch. Because otherwise, they both can't really hit my Azumarill. Azumarill resists both its steps, or is even immune to some of them. So I'm um, he may bring Crunch on Charizard X if he only wants to hit Sucker Pop, but he has to bring basically bring Thunder Punch to hit my Azumarill and my Slow King. So. And it's only 5 base power difference, they're both tough close boosted, so I don't see him bring Crunch. If he brings Mega Charizard X, it will be with Thunder Punch. And yes, Scald and Psyshock are just his main step. I don't want to have Mono attacking Scald because he has a Credibility and with uh, Storm Drain it will warm me to death. Power Gem is there to mainly hit the Mega Charizard X because I want to hit it if it's in front of me. And Psyshock is there to hit the Rosalind on the switch in and basically the Credibility on the switch in. Everything else on the switch in, nothing really in Sonic Psyshock. And of course Kukuda will because it's immune, but... Yeah, that's Slash for and Thunder Wave is there because I want to Thunder Wave his Infernape, his Dragon Shadow X, so they're not as big of a threat anymore. And Thunder Wave and everything is basically nice, you can always get the Thara Hex, but mainly I want to slow down these two threats. And if I can get Ladius on a switch in because if this both my stats and Team Worker there too, that would be pretty much awesome. He only has a Heal Bella in Glacier, which I don't expect him to bring because Glacier is pretty mediocre uh, uh, cleric in general because it's it's it's. Ice is such a bad defensive typing, so and it's weak to rocks and stuff. And yeah, I don't expect to bring Glaceon in. If I get a Thunder Wave on something, it will probably stay on that mod. Okay, 
There we go with Sucket Bob. Next up, we got Mr. Man, the life of Sheer Force Landers, of course, with Earth Power, Psychic, Knockoff, and Rock Slide. Just enough speed to outspeed the max fate with the Staraptor in case it's not scarfed. And Naive Nature, so my Knockoffs and Rocks are can do good damage. And this thing is basically pretty nice as team. Earth Power does a lot to his whole team. Psychic is just. I, like, the only character we really need was Knockoff and Rock Slide. And then I was thinking, okay, what could be the last move be? And between Sludge Wave uh, and hit, uh, Hidden Power and Psychic, I decided for Psychic because it can just Oko even a. No, not a special defensive Rosa Raid. But depending on the Rosa Raid, you can just Oko it straight up. It, made, it would have taken Earth Power before that. Sludge Wave would basically be only there to hit, like, stuff neutral. But. Psychic does the same for mainly the Electros, for example, which I kind of expect him to bring in the Assault there as Electros to handle my uh, Landris. That's about, uh, it's easily worn down, so yeah, like it has no recovery. I can I have a switch into Electros, but yeah, that's basically Mr. Man, it's just scary as hell. You, no, nobody likes switching into that, and Earthbound Knockoff, Psychic, Rockslide is basically the best coverage I can give it. Rockslide, of course, Holy Seraptor, and it hits Charizard too if, it's, if he tries to switch in on Earth Power and stuff. Knockoff, they, mainly therefore he does stops and Ladios if he wants to switch in. Of course, I don't speed them, but I may outspeed them with a future mon you already see probably at the top of my uh, screen. But okay, next up we got Poop Dragon, the Focus Sash Drodagon with Dragon Claw, Thunder Punch, Sucker Punch, and Stealth Rock. Close to max HP, Adamant, and some speed investment. The speed investment is there to outspeed Cradilly. So I, uh, yeah. So I, think I, I just thought, okay, I just need a little bit of speed and I can speed, outspeed Acrylic, so why not go for it with Dragon Claw as main step? Because what Crimson does not have, that is a Dragon Resist. So he does not have a Fairy, he does not have a Steel type. So an Adamant Dragon Claw will do good damage to everything. Of course, he has like Physical Damage Monster, which can take it on. But Dragon Claw will do good damage to everything. Uh, Focus Sash there, because I, this is the plan of Poop Dragon is to leave with it, get at my rocks. Unless he leads with Lad Ladios or the uh, Charizard, which could Oko me, I would just go straight for the Dragon Claw and, and KO, KO them back. Because with Raskin versus Charizard, and yeah, just just without even Raskin versus Ladios, they will die. And I take these going down. I still have this around then for uh, Sucker Punch priority, and yeah, Thunder Punch is there to hit the. Uh, still going a little bit harder than with Dragon Claw. But yeah, this vision is to set up Stealth Rocks and then get good damage to the other mons with Ruskin, with Dragon Claw, stuff like that. If I can switch it, that that thing in on a on the Raptor, maybe a U-turn, maybe even be a Brave Bird, and I can get some extra Raskin skin damage on that and uh, yeah, make it uh, um, yeah lose more HP and that because of that not live any more longer than it needs to. I, that would be amazing too. But Dragon Claw, Thunder Punch, Sucker Punch, Stealth Rock, that's my set for this Poop Dragon. Enough speed to also be critically rest in HP, Max Deck Element to for the extra power, and yeah, that is Poop Dragon for you. Basically, like I said, this thing is there to lead, get up rocks, and then get some good damage on the other ones. And yeah, next up we got Nazca Bark with the Life Op Offensive Set, Megahorn, Rock Slide, Substitute, and Baton Pass. This thing, first of all, what it can do, of course, it can substitute Baton Pass stuff like to Mr. Man, because if I get a, a speed boost to Mr. Man, it outspeeds his whole team and basically can, can run through it. Um, but with the I decide for Life Op because of Mega, Megahorn and Rock Slide, I got close to perfect coverage for his team. Like, the only thing I can't really hit. Uh, is the Dust Claws because it resists Megahorn and Rock Slide won't do much if it's physically defensive. So, but if I get rid of the Dust Claws, which I have multiple options to with many of my mons, this thing has the potential to run through his team and with the speed boost, of course, outspeed his whole team. He does not have much priority. He has, he has the priority on uh, Infernape, which both priorities, be it Vacuum Wave or Mark Punch, I quad resist. Uh, but, or he could bring Quick Attack on uh, Seraptor, but I doubt that. I think a uh, Scar Seraptor is the way to go versus me. But yeah, with Rock Slide and like this thing is there to basically run through Steam itself or get the substitute Baton Pass going with my with Mr. Man. I was thinking about Black Sludge if I run Baton Substitute, but with Life Orb I, I insured some KOs with Rock Slide and Megahorn, so I wanted to go for the extra power. Enough speed to outspeed and max speed Ladios, rest in HP and max attack. That's Nazca Bug for you this this time. Next up, what a surprise! Assault Vest Spetzle! <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's pretty funny. I Close to bring this every week. But yeah, Giga Rain, Rock Slide, Knock Off, and Leaf Storm with max special defense, max HP, 4 on defense. This thing is basically my uh, my special sponge to, mo to things he has because he has many special. He has some special attackers in Ladios, uh, Electros, Roserade, and Suicune. This is my main switch into Suicune because of Assaulters. I can't take Skulls. I don't mind uh, Burns too much because I'm mainly a special attacker. Of course, Knock Off and Rock Slide will be weakened, but still. I got uh, this coverage here, Giga Drain leads from his main steps. I want to have Giga Drain there because for more gen um, regenerating health shenanigans, of course, but leaves is there to basically nuke the Suicune in case he thinks he can live Giga Drain and maybe tries to go for Ice Speed to kill me and something like that. But yeah, Leafstorm is there to basically nuke the Suicune in case it tries to stay in versus me. 
and knock off to hit the Ladios because this is basically my main switch into a Draco because I can take one and at minus two I can take another one and I can knock off and stuff like that, regenerate Alex, blah blah blah. And Rock Slide is there to hit the Steroptor which may try to switch in on a grass move because it resists that. Of course I want to punish that because the Raptor, if you look at my team, basically has the potential to run through it. I have things to check it, but I don't really have things to counter it. So I take every damage I can get if I can catch it on prediction. And of course Roxxon hits the Charizard too. Of course I doubt I will stay in with these two with Tanking Growth, but if I can catch him on a switch and on a prediction, that would be very nice. That is better for you. Uh, by the way, the sub is there. Things I can uh, set up sub on are the Dust Gloves, which is the main switch to the thing basically because it doesn't, it doesn't have dark coverage, it doesn't have ghost coverage, so Dusclops is a pretty good stuff to this, but I, I think he would go for Willow then. I can go for Substitute, get a speed boost, and then the top is out into something else. Um, for example, into Spetzel, which could take a Nightshade from this thing, or just into Mr. Man and get a knockoff, or Mega Emo and get up a knockoff, and yeah, many things. And I, what I can but, uh, substitute to on is the uh, Roserade, because Roserade with its main steps, it won't do any damage to me. It, he could bring S Sensory, but I doubt, I, I mean, I guess he will switch out probably because he fears the Mega Horn. But, yeah, these are basically the things I can substitute on. And as last, we got Mega Emo, the Mega Absol with Knockoff, Sucker Punch, Zen Headbutt, and Ice Beam. Um, enough speed to outspeed the max speed. Ladios again, max attacks. The rest is special attack. I have Knockoff and Sucker Punch there as main, uh, as main, uh, yeah, main stat moves. Knockoff, of course, for getting rid of items and being strong as hell if the opponent has an item. And Sucker Punch for priority for his potential Scarf Mons he has because... Nazgabak and Mega Emo outspeed his whole team naturally, so he, he has to bring a Scarf for priority to take this thing down. Zen Hut that is there to take um, on the Infernape on the switch in, or the Roserade even on the switch in, because they may try to switch in, or like, Roserade not really, but Infernape is like because he resists the Dark type, and if he is some weird defensive set with Slackhoff and stuff like that, and with, I, I won't stay in with because of Mark Punch and Vacuum Wave, which are super effective and will probably wreck me. But if I can catch up on the on switch, and Zen Headbutt will be pretty helpful. The only things he has to resist Zen Headbutt are the Crocodile and the Ladios. And the Crocodile I can hit with the Ice Beam, that's I have here, because if with Intimidate, he can and if he's Scarfed, he can take my Sucker Punches very well, and my knockoff is because he resisted and Intimidate, minus, minus Attack Drop, of course. So I have a mixed attacker with Ice Beam here, because Ice Beam will be a 2 hit KO to uh, even the max, max HP, like Max Defensive Crocodile, if he uh, would choose to bring that. That's why I have Ice Beam on there too. And yeah, Zen Headbutt boss is mainly for the uh, switching of um, Infernape if he brings it, but yeah, like it's it does beat his whole team. Sucker Punch is nice, Knocker is nice. And yeah, this is my team. Basically, the plan versus versus uh, Crimson is to wear down his mounts, get get rocks up, wear it down with Poop Dragon, then I have some switch to mounts, keep wearing it down with rocks, and then get a late game sweep with Nazca Buck or uh, Mega Emo or Mr. Man right here if I can get some speed to it at spinning the uh, all the mounts he has. And yeah, that's basically my plan. I have some switching with Sucker Bot, but of course I have my Generator Core, so I think I can switch around um, sometime versus, versus uh, Crimson. But yeah, this is my team. Leave your thoughts on my team in the uh, in the in the com comments. I would I always love to see a criticism on my team. Be it a good one, be it a bad one. I am open-minded. I don't take criticism to criticism too hard. I think I oh just want to help with the brush on them with that. So I appreciate that. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you liked this all, leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal at the end of my videos. Uh, hit me on Twitter and Facebook. All the links in the description. Same goes for all the links for Crimson, of course. A fantastic, fantastic content creator. He just recently hit 3K, so. That alone speaks for himself. I'm I'm just low at 1.2k, and but yeah, he's, he's basically three times as good as me, subwise, probably. Yes, subscribe to him. But yeah, uh, I decided to ramble again. That's all from me. Be excited for the match tomorrow, and I will see you there.